Hello YouTube. Ed from Senior Back again once again. Another video here on YouTube or the platform. Now, as you guys can see, there's something different about my collection. Yes, um, the shelves are empty or I don't have as many things as it will. That's because today I thought the video on my anime collection that I have accumulated over the years. Now, I will preference I watch. I've seen a, I've watched and seen a lot of anime online. I do firstly own mainly because. It's cheaper to watch online compared to buying it physically, even free sometimes. But um, yeah, um, I but yeah, but I do want, but I do want actually quite a reasonable size collection. But you know, and hey, I thought it'd be cool, a cool thing idea that I do a video on it because I'm it's a little bit different from you normal know, content and all that. So let's get to it. And also, I'll be doing like a kind of little mini review of movie, movies and anime series I have seen compared to ones I've not seen. So yeah. And one preference, I've not seen that in all my collections, so double wave, let's get into it. Now, start off with the first movie I have not seen Cowboy Bebop the movie. I have not seen this movie, nope, not at all, and I've not seen the original anime series either. But I have seen, give me a second, the live action series, yes, and I don't know why, I feel I'm the only person who thought the Netflix live action was actually okay. I actually quite enjoyed it, quite frankly. Like, I thought it was the team. I thought it was cool. I thought it was badass. Maybe something could move. Something could be handled better. Some things, maybe some things were handled not the best. But hey, I actually thought it was quite okay. Like probably a solid six, seven out of ten. I'm not going to get me killed, so let's move on. So yes, is the fun of it. I actually really loved. Like, I, I loved like the um, type, the text, the font they use is absolutely gorgeous. And here is the back. Obviously, the black and DVD cases are obviously quite crowded because we put all the information stuff onto it and made a picture. But Grand Zero did a really good job keeping this nice whole area of the characters very clean. So, props to them, but yeah, let's keep it with Bob. <laughs> Next movie is Dun Dun Wolf's Children. Now, oh, Wolf, Wolf Children. <laughs> Apologies got it wrong, but Wolf Children. Yeah, and this movie I have seen. And just quick, quick synopsis this girl here. Um, falls in love with a werewolf who is an, uh, who same turn to a big grizzly wolf monster acts turns into a wolf. So it's the literal definition of a werewolf. It's actually pretty cool. And she has kids of it. That's what's called wolf children. Very simple. But hey. And yeah, this movie's sad. I mean, I think it's really good. I enjoyed it. I loved it so much. I bought the manga. And I realised why I buy the manga because I went on the movie. And the manga says a one to one adaptation of the movie. So, but anyway, honestly. The movie itself story is fantastic. It is quite sad, but it is be it is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Love this movie. Sold. Do you know what? give it eight out of ten. Sold eight out of ten. <laughs> Where to say my takes are trash. Hope hope, hope people get a reference. Anyway, next movie is a girl who went through time. Uh, oh, show back this box. Sorry. Here's the front of the box. Here's the back. Sorry, I forgot to do that. I'll keep, I need to continue doing that. Anyway, back to the girl who left for time, which I think I know. I know um, this the director. This does has done a lot of movies and in, uh, in his career. And personally, I think this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorites of his because this movie is absolutely awesome. Like the whole time travel mechanic is really interesting, and it's about love and all that mumble jumbo stuff. But it's done so beautifully. This movie, honestly, I love it. Like solid. Sold 8 out of 10. Sold, sold, sold 8 out of 10. So, yeah, and it's about a girl who leaps for time, but the story goes a lot more deeper than that. Trust me, I highly recommend you watch this one. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Moving on from that, next movie, next two movies, it's a two part movie, is Pokemon, the movie Black, Rattini, and Restaurant, and Pokemon movie White, Rattini, and Zero. <laughs> Yes, this is a two pack. I got this when I was a lot younger, and honestly, okay movies. Um, I remember kind of the plot of the movie. It was I think Ash and his friends had to save a town. Something with time pillars. I think it's been a while since I've seen the Pokemon movies. I mean, I do remember Joe Life. That's one of my favourites. Then there's the um, one with Pokemon Ranger. This is takes for the third gen movie with Pokemon Ranger. Um, not Martini and um, Murph, the blue one, the thing that's head. I've forgotten the name of it, damn it. And yeah, but that's my problem. They're talking too far, but this is a solid Pokemon movie, so yeah. You know, if you like Pokemon, you know, well, you might like this. Next, anyway, next movie is. Love this movie. Naruto the Last. Oh, Naruto. Nar the Last Naruto movie, or Naruto. Oh, 
Ah, I see the, the, I see what they did there. The last Naruto the movie. I mean, you could you know take the movie, but anyway. Oh, but absolutely love this. Look at this beautiful front cover. The characters looking like that, and oh, just this movie. First time I saw it made me cry, I'll be honest, like I cried in this movie because it's just so fucking awesome. Naruto, the moon scene with Nata. And Nata, I know she's down on the stress, but honestly, Nata's a really awesome character. And this shows how much of a freaking badass she is. Brilliant movie. So yeah, and then Sasuke comes back at the end, destroys me, and, and oh, fantastic movie. Just fuck it. 10 out of 10. This gets 10 out of 10 for me. The next movie is. Dun dun dun. Red Line. Oh my god, this movie is absolutely nuts. And the sad, there's actually not a sad story, but kind of story behind the movie. This movie was actually, this took like 10 years to make, I think, sorry, like 10 years to make because the animator wanted to make the movie completely by hand and all that, you know, like each frame's drawn and, like, and it was, he had, had such like a high attention to detail that it took so long to make it. And a lot of other companies were like, nope, and a lot of people actually turned him down, it was like, it's not profitable, it's not going to sell. He's like, oh no, 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 it's going to sell, it's going to sell, it's going to sell. And, and unfortunately, it came out, didn't really sell, but fantastic movie. Some of the most nuts animation I've ever seen. And look, look at this. It's not just scream crazy to you. It's not just scream absolutely mental to you. So yeah, fantastic, fantastic movie. Honestly, yep, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Script, 9 out of 10. And here's a fun... Yeah, that I forgot to do, do it for the last two movies. I'm not going to do it. So, ha. in the last movie, oh, personally, my favorite, well, probably like my, my third favorite anime of all time, is Machia. Machia, fuck, I'm going to pronounce this earlier. Because, well, Machia, when the promised flowers bloom. Here, go. Here is the entire cover. This, and this does have a lovely cover. I picked this because it's just. Gorgeous, like look at this, absolutely gorgeous. Like, and this movie is I'm not going to say about it because it's a movie you do best, best watching, go nothing like going and know nothing about it, watch it, and it's just the story keeps you enthralled and it's just beautiful. Now, I, actually, I did actually watch this movie, really, not legally, me shall I say, but then I went and bought it because I was like, I need to buy this movie because it's just it's one of my favorite movies of all the time. Fantastic, beautiful, just the story. I'm going to get to you then. Anyway, moving on. So, yes, that's all the anime DVDs. Anime movie DVDs. So, nice. Now, move on to the anime um, TV series. Now, if you thought this was well, took a while to get through, well, prepare yourself. So, starting off with, and again, I'm going to preface not seeing every anime series that I own, but I've seen probably a good 90%. So, First things first, My Hero Academia, Season 1. Just My Hero Academia, Season 1. Actually, favourite, actually, really, Season 1, I thought it was really good. And just, yeah, it's My Hero, like, it's good. Like, like what can I say, Season 1 especially, though, because Season 2 is basically my favourite, especially post special act. Yes. But Season 1 is definitely a close second to me, and honestly, really awesome. So, yeah. I'm going to do these a bit faster because it's what we get through. Next is. Astro Boy, The Great Adventures. I guess I bet you guys didn't expect me to actually own this. And this is actually my second copy because my first copy, my young foolish self decided to destroy this disc. So it wouldn't work anymore. So I had to, I, and luckily, one day I went to, went to a, a shop and I saw it. I was like, I'm picking this bad boy up. And it's like really cheap too. I think it's like £2.50, something like that. Oh, there's actually a receipt. There's an actual receipt from the shop. How much did it cost? One pound. <laughs> it cost a single pound to buy a piece of my childhood back. I paid that money. I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to buy it. And yep, so here's the front. Here's the back of the box. And it's not a good, I'll be honest, it's not the best. I mean, it's not really, well, this, 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 these more like collections of the actual episodes of the second anime series, because I know there's both, I think the second anime series because it's the original black and white one, then there's the coloured one. This is the coloured one, honestly. I liked it when I was younger, I've not seen it in ages, but yeah, it was good. Six out of ten, good solid six out of ten, you know, not bad, yeah. But you do watch it, and the, sometimes you're like, the dub, oh, the dub's not aged the best at some points, but at the same time, hey, it's all that, mate. How can you complain? Oh, I'm gonna pass a lot of people off of this. 
Next is Dragon Ball Super Rollies 1 and 2. Now, this is when I was like, kind of going through a kind of ramble phase again. Like, oh, okay, I'm going to go watch an anime. I'm going to catch up and see how good it is because I think it's really good later on. And clearly, I never got into it. And, I mean, this is Dragon Ball Super. We all know what happened to Dragon Ball Super. We all know the first few arcs are the best. Animation quality, blah, blah, blah. Told, um, not totally. It's Tony? That's Tony Animation. T O T O E I is Tony, right? Anyway, but yeah, um, but yeah, all them in Dramble, um, I think it's a very popular show. A little bit overrated, I'll be honest. A little bit overrated. I mean, Dramble Z Kai, best watch Dramble Z. Anyway, moving on. Drop the DVD. Anyway, next is Serial Experiments Lane. Now, I have heard this is a really weird, wacky anime, and it's really, it's, it's like, the more this ages, the, the more like, realistic this anime, like, the more kind of like ambience this anime has, and more like how scary, how real, how how like how like how scary it is. Like the reason why it's scary is because how far how because this anime came in two thousand in two thousand nine. Something tells old in old DVDs when it came out. I think it's like 2000, 2004 bit, but it's about getting into all that and I don't know too much I've not seen it because I've used to watch it because <laughs> nope, but I've heard it's fantastic and uh, I mean, I love this, like this cover is just so airy, airy and like scary, it's, it's just gorgeous and here's the back, the back of the too is quite airy, I mean, love, I love how they did that, that is genius for like the graphic design, they like the zinger put like the, the, the I'm just an angry little squares and all that and that's that's smart, that's good, I like that. That's been touches <laughs> touches that. Anyway, moving from ambient scanners to zombies. High Seal of the Dead. I cannot show the back of this YouTube, but this is High Seal of the Dead. And I'll be honest, High School of the Dead is good anime. Ten out of ten. I'm not, I'm joking, I'll, I'll, I'll get blown to it. Uh, people who don't know, it's a zombie anime about high school kids getting stuck in a zombie apocalypse. It's actually Fan service aside, not a bad show. I'll be honest, like, fan service aside, it's actually quite an interesting story. Is it the best? No, but honestly, I thought it was quite good. Unfortunately, unfortunately we'll get more because Recipe's manga, who died, we won't make the manga. Unfortunately, we'll get more manga, but for what? Well, it's really awesome. And this does include the beach episodes, and apparently, it's quite difficult to get through these. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the. Probably the last anime DVDs I bought, and that is Kill a Kill. Yes, goes from more degenerateness to even more degenerateness. But in part of, but the same high school DSD, this is, I'd say, sure, they're both good shows. High, well, high school that's the DSD. High school of the dead, that's the, High school of the dead gets a um, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. But this Kill a Kill gets an 8 out of 10. But anyway, back to Kill a Kill, so here is the, and it's actually split into three parts, so here is part one, which is episodes one to nine. Can I show us on YouTube? Sure, I'll do this. There is part one, there is the back of the DVD, I don't know, if, oh wait, these old, oh yeah. I put all the covers on, because I thought like these old covers, so yeah, but here we go. Here is the, yeah, that's number one. Is it put on this one? Oh, sorry, I should do that, sorry. Here is number two, part, that's part three, sorry, here's part two, just for information in the back, and yeah, all I mean, does a good job, uh, here is part three, which is actually my favourite, because I love like all the colours, like the bright colours, and awesome. I love that shit, that's cool, yeah. but yeah, we're in the back, so yeah, in Killer Kill, it's Killer Kill, it's a great show, just, I get, I, I say it's another show, I won't have any, that's, I think I, I say it's a show, I won't have any spoilers, I want to completely blind and just watch it, because, and it, it is fan service, it is fan service, but it is, I say, tasteful. I'm just getting real jacks for you guys. And moving on to Claymore. I have actually never seen Zanny. I am kind of aware what happens and I kind of know the plot through osmosis but apart from that I've never watched it but honestly just that's beautiful like the, 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 like it's so brave and just especially in the, the 2000s do something like this just as a like a, for a grand design point of view this is just 
gorgeous. He's had a picture of the title because it's just so much empty space. People are like, oh, default space. Sometimes, nope, sometimes it's best just have the empty space there because it looks better. Even the back just, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. So, yeah. Uh, favorite anime, actually, PewDiePie's favorite anime I have not seen. Sorry, PewDiePie is Ergo Proxy. I think it's his favorite anime. One of his favorite is Ergo Proxy, which I have not seen because I just can't get into it. I've tried to watch it once, so I was like, yeah, it's just like too dark and like, like yeah, too dark and depressed for me. But maybe one day I'll watch it. I found it's really good. So, yeah, Ergo Proxy, Proxy, what is it like? Does it seem here? Most of them, but I've never got something like £25, pounds, so pretty cheaply for it. Like, Entire anime series like price fifteen pound, good deal. Oh, by the way, it's done by this media called I think it's Monster Media and something media, and it's a Scottish company too, which is awesome. And I'll see why it's awesome because it does it, it takes a lot. And oh, it's an anime company. No, it's an anime. It's a Scottish anime licensing company for Scottish media retailers. But I'm going to lose minus and another Scottish licensed company. All the anime, absolutely, these guys do fantastic jobs, and this is. Sorry, back to anime, this is Game of Bebop. Again, not seen. Again, I've seen my batch series. Again, I thought it was okay. Moving on. Ah, uh, and this is, this is quite funny. Bleak, this, this one is Bleach. Series 1 part 1. Series 1 part 2. And series 1 part, series 2 part 1. That's all in the Bleach. Now, very funny so for this. I bought this when I was in high school at the end of high school because I remember the wee shop um we over we went to go some place for trips and all that I actually had the entirety I had quite a lot of bleach for like one pound is it receipt in this? No it's not receipts in this. Come on, come on, get lucky. Oh yes! Friend receipt. For a pound. They sold these bleach cases for pound and there was tons of them and I remember being like you know what? I remember buying these first few, like, being like, you know what? One day I'm going to come in and buy the rest of it. I kid you not, the next time I went there, they're all gone. There was a, a shop was closed down, or, or the rest were gone. I was just like, so now I'm left with these. I'll take it because these actually come from really badass posters inside, which no one took out because I don't want to eat really long. I don't want to keep you guys here any longer you want to be. No, but uh, yeah, but yeah, here they are. In Bleach, I have actually seen a bit of Bleach. I've seen past Society Arc in the anime, and yeah, straight to all the means Bleach, I've gone back. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Yes, I'm gonna catch up. We'll find out. But um, yeah, Bleach the anime, honestly, solid 7 out of 10. It's about a kid, a kid each ago, um, so we person all that. I mean, people talk about Bleach. Bleach is popular. You guys know Bleach, know Bleach for a lot more than me, so moving on. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what Bleach is. To move on to one of my favourite animes. I kid you know, actually, one of the only people I feel I felt like at the time who really liked this anime, Goblin Slayer. Yes, and this is actually how I finished, actually how I finished Goblin Slayer. I remember watching the anime when it was coming out, and I still watched it. I was like, do you know what? I was like, you know what? I want to wait until the anime actually buy the anime, so I watched it online. Oh, I'll preface it again, I was actually going to buy the anime when it came out, so I watched it online, and yeah, I finished the anime, and uh, like, Look how beautiful it is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The colours and everything is just so dark and just gritty. And I'll be honest, is it a bit edgy? Yes. Is it a bit extreme at times? Yes. But goddamn, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I love the anime. I love the story. It's fantastic. I actually think the pacing does me alone. And there's, a, there's some fan service, I'll be honest, but it's not the it's not the most fan service anime. Like, trust me. There's other, fan, there's other anime that have more fan service than this, and it's, even, and it's not even classified as fan service, fan service anime. But in general, love this anime, 9 out of 10, and it's about guessing goblins. Again, if you guys are interested, go watch it. Fantastic. Hey yeah, guys, sorry to jump cut the article for food and take your boots, so that's why it's a little bit wet and a bit different, but anyway, let's move on. So the next um, anime on the list is Shatoshi Khan's Paranormal Edge. Now, this is an absolutely Fantastic show, and absolutely brilliant. Just animation, music, and all that. It's fantastic, fantastic. But one of the things about it, I'd say, it isn't for the. Mo it's not for the like of heart. It does tackle some heavy topics like depression, suicide, and all that. So if you're not, if you're, if you're quite prone to those subjects, I would recommend not maybe watching this one. But if like if you, but if you um are are okay with case subjects, okay for find those subjects interesting. I do highly recommend this show, and it is a. And absolutely 10 out of 10 anime, fantastic soundtrack, everything. And the opening is 
one of my favourites, one of my favourite films of all time, it's absolutely hilarious. Like, I know what they're so about depression, suicide, really, like, why is it hilarious? Trust me, if you watch it in open, you'll find out. So yeah, here's the front, and here's the back. And it is another show I do recommend just going blind and watching it. And um, yeah, for anything, no one probably knows about it, apart from maybe what I told you, it's about depression, suicide, but apart from that, just watch it. Trust me, there's a few twists in it, you don't expect. So anyway, moving on to the next anime, and that is Parasite. Now, the funny story of this show, I remember originally watching this anime before she came out subtitled, and I was like, oh, this is really good. So I stopped watching that. <laughs> then I remember the dub coming out, I was like, oh, that looks really good too. So I watched the dub, and guess what? I started watching the show again. So and then over the years, I tried to watch it on and off, trying to get back into it. And I was like, one day I saw A2 for like, like four for five, for five pound piece. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy Parasite and watch it. And I'm, I'm just going to binge watch it. And oh my God, this show hit so hard. Like genuinely, I cried multiple times watching the show because it's just so, it's like, it's hit after, it's hit after, hit after, hit of just emotional damage. You're just like, then you're like, oh, thank God, thank God, finally the main card gets a win. Fine, finally gets a freaking W and get, it's just a fantastic show. And again, as another show, I do recommend going in blind and not knowing about it before you get, because it's just a fantastic show. So, and here is collection, yeah, collection one, in the front, and the back. Absolutely. Oh, Love it, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous work. I, I, it's it's really gorgeous, but it is. Here's number two. Oh, it's so sick. Look at it. Look at it. It's so sick. And there's the back of it. I love the. I love all that. The blast part and all that. Beautiful. Anyway, next anime we have is Death Note. <laughs> yes, this is actually. As you guys tell, this box has seen. This box has been through some war zones, we shall say. So that's appropriate, I apologise that was, but yes, this is my, this, I've had this, this is actually the first anime I've ever bought, yes, yeah, the first, it's, it's the first anime, oh, anime is one of the new animes anime I ever bought, was Death Note, as you can tell, it is in a different format, it's like nine, like DVDs long, it's absolutely massive, and it's brilliant, and Death Note's Death Note, I liked it, I thought it was good, I thought it's, it's definitely like what can you say about Death Note before you've been seen said and there's so many so many other people have like can say and can explain Death Note better than me and all that but quick softness it's and it's cat and mouse game the anime that's all I'll say about it it's fantastic go into it blind or anything about it and go watch it it's a bit older I believe it's from 2007 or for one of them don't remember exactly but oh my god it is a fantastic series. It's definitely it's a great one of the greats. It's one of the greats. It's one of the greats. So yeah, and it is a, it's a big boy. It's a big thick box. I remember I got this for like twenty pound at the time. And apart from nowadays, it's really hard to get this out of me. I think I think it's not. I don't think it's easy. As it once was because this thing was just flying off the shelf and printed, being printed by printed by this museum. But nowadays, I think it's a bit more difficult to get. Don't quote me on that. But hey, why is blue on Amazon? So put that up if you want to. But yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and the next anime is actually my Field of Alchemist Brother mini collection, which are these guys, yes. So funny story, this is actually originally how I watched Field of Alchemist. I actually remember watching the first few episodes. I remember specifically I a bit of a story here. When I first went to America, yes, I've been to America twice in my life, and for as well like my um, cousin's wedding, something like that, I remember picking up a, a magazine, being like, and I remember seeing, I actually seen like everyone be like, oh, that's cool, I'm gonna pick it up because the guy's got male arm, that'll be awesome, and all that. And <laughs> turned and I came with a DVD, the f actually the first episodes of Filled Fil Alchemist Brotherhood. Yes, at the time, this is like 2006. I still don't remember with America. But anyway, I remember picking up like, this is awesome, but I couldn't watch because of UK DVD with America, you know, foreign, 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 foreign region locks all the way to get back home. And then I remember I got back home and <laughs> remember I went, I went I went and watched it and I remember being absolutely terrified. I absolutely hated it. I was like, this is terrifying because I remember, like, see, see when you're like a, but you see me like a younger, you know, younger kid, and you watch stuff. You're like, oh my god, it's just like, Ew, horrible, horrible blood and cuts. Oh my god, what's happening? You get terrified. I remember just getting DVD, just get some scratch, and then just throw it away. Like, no, I'm never watching it again. And years later, it's my favorite anime. 
How funny is that, eh? But yes, but <clears throat> and then but remember I was going over to somewhere again, I think it's Portugal or somewhere. I don't remember specifically. So I picked up um, the Fourth Alchemist in um, parts two, three, and four of the anime. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna watch the anime and all that. So I went to Portugal. That's it. I was going to Portugal for like the hundredth time. But anyway, I picked these up. I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch it. Port watch that great time. Watch it. You know, not cat. And by the time we get back, I'll probably have enough content where I don't need to watch it. Um, I finished these instantly. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I finished these quite fast. I was like, oh. I don't own the fifth and uh, the, uh, the fifth bit. I don't own the final part of the anime, so therefore I need to wait until I get back home. And I watched it legally. I'll be honest. So then, but then I was like, I don't. That just didn't sit right with me. I didn't feel right. So I went out and bought this. I feel the Alchemist complete collection. This was one to sixty four, and absolutely. And then I watched. I bought this. I've watched it about five times. Absolutely. Again, favorite anime of all time. Reasons why. Blah, but it's just uh, love the show. Absolutely, this is a brilliant show. It's taught me some very important lessons, and some of say I still take on to this day. So, yeah, a little bit cringe, but hey, it's F maybe. It's the reason why. It's, I mean, the reason, it's the reason why it's the most popular anime in my army list, even though the fans <laughs> can be toxic. I'll be honest. Anyway, move on before I get the crappy movie with the fans. This anime is. One Punch Man Season 1 by Madhouse. Yes. And this is one of the, one of the few animes <coughs> I actually watched fully subtitled. Yes, I actually I cannot watch double of this. Because normally, I'll be honest, I'm a double for some fan. And I'll say, and I'm not saying something's bad. I do, I do like some anime. And personally, I've watched, yeah, I've watched these sort of stuff because I don't like the original voice actors. It's weird. It's like, if you start watching a show and then like, sub the dub, you, you just don't like the other one. It's weird, like for me to like the um, like the, the Japanese version of Fruit of the Alchemist Brotherhood because to me it's a bit weird. Because Cash was weird, but anyway. But yes, I cannot watch dubbed. I don't know what it is about this new Slayer, but I just can't watch dubbed. I'm not saying bad dubs. They're probably they're probably really good, really good, great dubs. But I just it's all better. It's weird, but yes. Oh, I remember. I remember watching one punch when I came in. But oh my god, this is amazing. This is fantastic. This one of the most. Balls to the walls anime ever. The animation was godsend. And then, pick the manga up. Then we'll pick the manga up. I'm currently up to date in volume 20, volume 23. And I thought read them. I've actually not read it past season 2 of the manga. But I've also got to catch up. I've got a lot of catch up to this. Maybe we can run anywhere. Read the whole one punch of the manga. Eh? Who knows? But going back to anime, I never watched this. And then when you're like, when's season 2? When's season 2? <laughs> Another funny story, I remember seeing an anime called Punchline. I was like, oh, season two, this must be like a season of season two, one punch man. We brand it, watched it. It wasn't one punch man. It wasn't one punch man. And I was like, oh, disappointing, but at the same time, if you don't punch like this, you don't punch like this. So yeah. Then one punch season two came out and Master Sons. But anyway, but One Punch Man is definitely season one. Recommend. Just watch it. Fantastic. Even better read the manga. Again, it was great, so yeah, and think uh, <coughs> sorry, I think the times recorded, I think season three is either been not in, it's been announced or it's been what's been worked on. One of the two, again, I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But it's one, but, yeah. but one punch man season one, absolutely awesome series, fantastic. And last but not least, personally, my most not the I would say it's the most valuable thing in my collection of anime, but to me personally, it's one of the most it has the most value, weirdly enough, and it is actually. I think it's kind of rare too. Sorry, being personally valuable is it's my filter up from season one part one original, um, original Viz Media print <coughs> special. Like, I don't know, but this is absolutely awesome. I remember, I remember just walking in, in Glasgow one day, going to going to a shop, second hand anime shop, second hand shop, like, yeah, see yeah, it's like a second hand game shop, kind of electronic shop. It's a shame because we don't have because in the UK in the UK and Scotland we don't have like mom pop shops we really aren't a thing here unfortunately with like combat stuff <coughs> so our chain corporate chains are a thing here. I remember walking and I remember seeing us being like I am getting that I am getting this I don't care this to me is probably my favorite piece of the Alchemist for the Alchemist for the Alchemist for the Alchemist Brotherhood memorabilia because it's just so awesome like this is the front it's it's shiny it's it's shiny it looks cool okay. That's the spine and that's the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. And the coolest thing about it is, 
I'll show you. Yeah, I'm not gonna get everything out, but this this is a DVD case, so and it, and it just keeps it folds out. How cool does that look? How cool! And that these are the so They are white, which I think just looks beautiful. And it's all shiny gold. I know. I don't know if you guys see it off camera. There you go. See a lot, but yeah. I just it's beautiful to me. It's like it's like a weird way piece of art. I know that's weird to say, but to me it's like that. I just absolutely love it. It was pricey. I think it was like fifteen pound. No, like this wasn't. It wasn't just. It was, it was pricey. I was like, but I don't care. I'm buying it. So yeah. Anyway, that is us now done with DVDs. Not to, I mean DVC I mean DVDs. That took a while. Anyway, let's get on to Blaze, which unfortunately the pile was a lot short, so therefore I won't take too much time more time too much more of your time up guys. So let's get on with it, eh? As I say, let's keep going. So start off uh, let's just start off with the first one, and that is on my preference I have not seen these. This is the Gundam movie, movie triple pack. And this is the Gundam Shards counterattack. Now, the thing that annoys me about this, like, the thing that annoys me about this is they're not dubbed. They're all subtitled, all three of the movies, which is uh, Film 1, um, Mobile Suit Gundam 1, Film 1, Mobile Suit Gundam 2, um, Soldiers of Sword, which is a fantastic title, and number three, Mobile Suit Gundam Film 3, Encounters in Space, epic titles, but they're not dubbed. They're all subtitled, and and I was like, okay, fair enough, maybe it's not official in the double movie, that's fine now, but guess what? All the anime, not long after, released a version of this, where it's in English double it off, and I was just like, great. But at the same time, I don't care, these, these are still, this is just still awesome to because personally, hey, I like Gundam. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the anime series, but my little kids, well, guys don't know, well, here's actually when I got recently, the age took it. Master Reader, this, I've been looking for these uh, age kits for ages, and yeah, so. And some so I was like, yeah, I'll pick them up, because, you know, it's OG anime, you know, fair respect to it, so yeah. But yeah, but these, oh, I mean, I think these are the rush covers of it. I, I, I was going to find that, yeah, these are the rush covers, I think these look so much better, because they kind of look like, uh, just, it just looks like a movie post, so I, I like, I like the look of it, okay? I like the look of it, okay? Don't judge me too harshly, but yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. There's back of Charles Counter Attack, and there's a back of the movie Charge Back. So moving on is the only two Studio Ghibli movies I own, and the only two I have not seen are the ones I have seen. <laughs> so the first one is Tales of RC, which is still in the slipcover. As you can tell, it cost me fourteen pound ninety nine. Did it? Well, I guess it's twice. Anyway, so yeah, but I have not seen this. I remember watching this, and I think I heard this is done by Fuck Me Cat. Sorry, uh, Mia Cassie's son. Sorry, I put my pronunciation there, and not him. I remember, I remember, if you guys don't know, Mia Cassie himself walked out in the premiere of his son, and it's just like, I feel the fire. I'm so, he's so disappointed in the movie because he thought it was so bad. It was his son's first ever chance, or uh, like, the first ever like, movie he did by himself. And if I was his son, I would be like, Dad, I don't care who you are. Wow. That's just such a great trial of advice. But anyway, let's not get into it. But yeah, and I've actually not finished the movie. I've tried to watch it. I just can't watch it. And it's, it's what I've seen if it's okay. I mean, dragons. I thought it was dragons. Oh, cool. But yeah. Moving on. There's Nagasaki. I thought, eh, no. Oh, fuck, how do you pronounce this again? Not Nagasaki. Eh, Nagasaki. Eh, Nasuki. Nasuki? Nasuki Valley of the Wind. I have not seen this, because the main reason why, the main reason why I have not seen the movie yet is because years ago when I started with manga, there was, there's a manga, I don't know, this this is actually based for manga, or something like, anyway, there's a manga of this, I was like, oh, I'm going to pick up the manga, then watch the anime, because we know the manga's manga's in two absolutely gorgeous hard book, book uh, hard, eh, sorry. That's there. There's, there's an, two absolutely beautifully gorgeous hardback books I was like I would pick them up and they weren't too expensive and just never did so I've never watched the movie and kind of through almost kind of know through almost the plot of it and how it's actually and it sounds really cool and interesting but I've just not seen it and I remember when it first came to America's movie it was completely butchered and absolutely like completely butchered I remember hearing about this don't quote me this is that 
the when the guy who, who I think it's Harvey Weinstein he brought in the movie. Again, don't quote me on this. I don't. I think it's him. He was on the uh, down the Miyazaki set of Samurai Sword Two for Future Ghibli movie, saying, "If it's not not just saying, no cuts." How cool is that? Because he cut the movie heavily edited to a point where it wasn't even recognisable as the Valley of the Wind. Yeah, I think you can see it because it can't pronounce the first word. Thanks, English pronunciation classes. They felt the naughty ball. Maybe. Sorry. Next movie. <coughs> Touch a bit there, and that is Perfect Blue. Another movie I've not seen. I'm not see. I'm going to tell you guys the next two movies after this I have not seen in Perfect Blue, but I'm kind of looking at most of what this movie's about. But this I can show it to YouTube. I think look at this absolutely gorgeous invert cover. Like I think it's beautiful. Like, I just personally think sometimes the cover covers that come with these are look way better than the actual covers that they're supposed to come with. Sorry, the actual covers are on the movies themselves. But Perfect Blue thinks about a stalker fan, an idol fan, and, and how she dies then. I'm not too sure, but apparently it's a great movie. I've not seen it, but I want, one day I do want to watch it. And the next movie is going to just get away. And actually, I have seen a bit of Total Godfathers, and oh, absolutely. See a bit of it, no finish. Again, uh, seeing the London movie, I got I got to think the read up and sub no, it's subtitled, but it's also but now there's a dub version of the vignette from the same company. Great. But um yeah, this is an um how is a really good movie and again, I think it's another Satoshi Khan, it's another Satoshi Khan movie. Again, not seen it. I think Perry Blue's also Satoshi Khan. Let me double check. Did you Yes, Toshi Kon. So, <laughs> I own three Satoshi Kon movies. That never, that never, that never, I own three Satoshi Kon movies. And that never ever crossed my mind on three. I've not seen any of them. Great. <laughs> anyway, moving on is. Anyway, moving on is. I kind of. I don't even, I don't even know what it is. Patanindia Inverted? Call it Inverted in movie. Inverted. I just picked it up for really cheap second hand. I think it's pretty pricey. I think it was like two pounds or something. Yeah, it's like six pounds. Yeah, maybe I can get this in the Blu ray. But anyway, picked up a second hand. I was like, oh, this is cool. Picked up a second Blu ray. Why not? No. And then the next movie is a very famous, famous very famous movie. <laughs> it's got either Akira or Akira. And when I say it, I don't. I think it's that, I don't think this movie is as good as people make it to be. I'll be honest. And I, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad movie, it is a really good movie. And like, to my opinion, Akira, or I say Akira, not Akira, Akira, is that it's, it's just, it feels it, like, you watch it, you watch it, and the pacing just feels, feels dead weird, but I know, the feels dead weird, but I know that's because of the manga that's quite before that, before the movie, the movie kind of adapting off that, and then, the manga was halfway through, they fixed like, ha like nearly halfway through when they finished the movie. So they did the original ending, and then the movie original ending, and then the movie finished, the manga finished after the movie, and that's why it has to be paced issues. But apart from that, oh, this movie is good. And again, it's not my favourite anime film, I think, again, that goes to, you'll find out. But I do think it's a great movie, and I can see why people love this movie and actually think it's the best. But me personally, I think it's good. I think it's a great movie. A solid, a solid 8 out of 10. 7 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10, there we go. God, I've just, I've just committed, I've just committed to book out in front of everybody. Let's continue. Oh, but, uh, no, no, what Joe says is not game you know, more. Anyway, moving on. Next movie is actually from the same director, I think it's personally better than Akira, Steam Boy. This, I thought Steam's movie, this wasn't there, but from the front, as it says, from the director of Akira Steam Boy. This is such a good movie. It's like. I forgot what it's about. <laughs> but no, from what I remember, from what I remember, it's about Steam and all that. It's about a kid and his guns and that. I mean, look at this. Look how cool that is. That happens in the movie. It's a cool ass chase chase scene. Don't know if what the movie's about. Because I've never mean, watched it once because I've lost something like Akira. I've seen videos and stuff like that. I've learned a lot about Akira. This. I've only seen the movie, so I need to do some more research on this, but this is an absolutely awesome movie. I recommend it, and I think personally, personally, I think it's better than Anyway, moving on is my second favourite anime movie 
all the time. Summer Wars. Now, I know people compare this to Digimon, Digimon the movie, without Digimon in it. But that is fair enough. But to me, like, if you watch this today, you will see, like, how terrifyingly this predicted the future with cyber attacks and like this like this movie is I remember what I remember I try and watch the movie for a couple of years. I, I, I watch sorry I watch the movie like every couple of years to kind of see and it's just scary how like like how like how like real how like realistic it is in the day compared to way back when it came out. I think it came two thousand and eleven maybe no well, fucking wrong but I think two thousand ten it came out two thousand but anyway, it came out in, oh, great movie, absolutely one of the same favourite, favourite anime of all time. Go watch it. Fantastic. And last but not least is my, actually my favourite anime movie of all time. Like, I remember, what, I remember watching this movie when it first came out. I literally bawled my eyes out. I remember it was, a, it was in high school. I remember it was like, uh, it was a school night. I remember staying, I remember staying for like 4am waiting for people to come out on a website where you shall say, Kiss Army, rest in peace. I remember, like, I was so tired. I remember, I was like, I remember, I came out, I was like, you know, I can go to sleep. And I was like, no, no, fuck it, I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna watch this movie. And at the end, I just bawled my eyes out because it's just, it was a good movie. And that is Sound Voice. Screw your name, this is a better movie. I'm joking, I just wanted to say that. Your name's probably good. I've not seen, but I've not seen your name because. It took all the hype away from this movie and all the all the tension away from this fantastic movie. And it's just I don't know what it is. It's just to me, this is my favourite anime of all time. It's the last movie too. I'm I hate it. Most movies are awesome sometimes and done right. This is I'm done right. And this is probably just nostalgia talking, probably I've only seen the movie once because it's a movie. But like me personally, some movie I watched once, never again, just remember it. Some movie I watch all over again, like some wars, but this is a stuff brilliant movie and it's based on a manga. And for this is I've heard I've heard from from you know from YouTubers and all that and people online this is actually a really great, really good adaptation of the manga. And yeah, I think I think it also ends slightly differently in the manga, like Doro, which is a fantastic anime series. You wanna get that anime. You never get it, you need to pick it up. But um yeah, this is just an absolutely brilliant movie. Like this I, this movie I don't want to say anything about it because you better speak for yourself. Then you know that. So you better speak for yourself. Let me explain that to you. And here it is the Vert cover. I just this. I think this is everything about the movie. Just absolutely love this movie. Anyway, that is the Blu-ray movie. So now let's let's wrap this video up with the anime Blu-ray TV series on. It's absolutely free. I only own three Blu-ray anime TV series, and they are. In order, Steins Gate Zero Part One. I have seen this. I think it's great. I'm not seeing second half because, for me personally, if the only way I can watch the second half is online, but I refuse to watch second half online. I, I refuse to watch because I want to experience Steins Gate Blue Boy. I want to experience in this anime right. I want to find it right. I want to just watch it right. I know online, but I want to find the shops. I want to go find this anime in the shops. Pick up. But yes, Part Two. Give me a pick up and buy it. Yeah, but honestly, it's just, it's Steinscape. Steinscape's fantastic, and yeah, absolutely awesome. I don't really give it a name because I've not finished it yet, so yeah. <laughs> Next is Madoka Magica. Yes, I own Madoka Magica. Hell yeah. And yeah, it's great. I've not finished the anime because I remember watching it, I kind of fell got bored of it personally, but that should be in general. But apart from that, but from what I've seen of it, I loved it. And I know it ends in a movie, which is weird. I remember Trump Mail one time going by on movies, but then I heard the movie ends actually really bad, so or it's not the best, so I was like, okay, I'm fine with this. So yeah. Look at magic and it's just oh, look at the text. Look at the title. It's absolutely oh, so beautiful, so cute, so absolutely gorgeous gorgeously cute title. Yeah, I'm so magic I thought I seen it. Nine and ten, it's all nine and ten. <laughs> And next anime, which I think is really underrated, it's a really underrated, and the ending of the anime is a bit, not the best. It's something I watched the anime that's coming out, and I think I watched it subtitled, subtitled actually, yeah, I think I watched this anime subtitled. I think, I'm not too sure. And it's the second anime done by Wits Girls after the tag team took a break, and that is 
Cabernet of Nine Fortress. Now this to me is if you got a story and you got twelve episodes of that, that's what I'm going to check that for making any statements. Yes. Then this is how you do it. Now, and and this I want more. I think this is one of the most weird and one of the most interesting animes I've ever because it's not quite horror, but it is. It's not quite a zombie anime, but it is. It's just it's crazy. Honestly, it's a great anime. There's the fun I absolutely think it's gorgeous cover. I love the red and all that and the fiery explosion behind them. I think it's gorgeous. There's the back of the cover. Oh, so absolutely amazing. And honestly, this anime is underrated, but I can see why people I, I can see why people don't like this anime. I can understand why. But just give it a shot, give it a watch and see what it's like because I love this anime. Honestly, it's a solid ten out of ten for me. So yeah, that is a that is the entirety of my anime collection. That this video took so long to do. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and just like to let me know in the description below if you did or did not like the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also remember to subscribe if you want to. If not, that's perfectly cool too. So you guys, but anyway guys, this is camera this is FMC saying I'll see you next time. Goodbye!